Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I am doing a full solo playthrough of Blitzkrieg. World War II in 20 minutes. Now when you're playing against the solo AI, they always play the Axis, and they get to go first. Now I have everything already set up. I drew five random uh, unit tiles out of their bag. There are three different types of units in the game. There are armies, navies, and airborne units. And I happen to get all armies, but if you don't know how to play the game, don't worry. I will explain everything as we go along. Let's just jump right in. The AI always takes the first turn. And the first thing you do for them is you randomly draw one of their stratagem tokens. That is the rapid deployment stratagem. And you just replace the old one. The stratagem token is one thing that will affect their decision making on the board. The other thing is just this flow chart that I will be referring to. So hopefully I'll be able to make the correct decisions for the AI, but we'll, I'll do my best. So right here at the beginning of the game, we have five theaters, each with one open campaign, and it's the top one right, the top row of each of these theaters. Those are the only places where we can place units. And right off the bat, the AI wants to go to the theater that has the most, the most open spaces for units, which at the beginning of the game is right here. They have four open spaces in that campaign. So that's where they're gonna go. And they're gonna prioritize the location that has this particular action. Each of these locations have different actions. This action is known as strategic advantage, and that's the one that they're going to prioritize right off the bat. Right now, because of this stratagem, this rapid deployment, they are going to favor the unit that's just to the left of their row of units. On brown spaces, only an army or an airborne unit can go, and on the blue spaces, only uh, a navy or an airborne. Airborne units can go anywhere. And on these mixed spaces, obviously anything can go there. So because this is brown, it's gonna only gonna be able to choose between the planes and the tanks. Now, you activate that action, that's gonna let them move three spaces on one of these battle tracks that are in each theater. And they're gonna wanna make the biggest amount of change. Change is factored by, can they flip who's winning in a particular campaign? So right now, I'm not ahead in any of these theaters. They would, they would choose that first. But we are tied in these two. So they're going to choose one of those. And because of this, you have to go to a different theater. So that means they're going to choose Western Europe and move three spaces on that. They then get to put their little marker there, and because it's a strength one, they move one there. So right off the bat, the AI is ahead in all five theaters right now, which is not good. So at the end of their turn, they get to draw one new tile from their bag. Okay, they got a one ship. And that's it, that's their turn. On our turn, we get to pick from one of our units and place out. Now, I only have land-based units here. So none of these blue spaces, I can't even go to them if I wanted to. I think what I want to do, now I would like to get a little research. That's what the three cog symbol means there. You get to get one of these awesome special weapons to get put into your bag and hopefully draw them later. I might want to start off with a little industrial production because that lets you draw another tile from your bag and have more options. And that seems like that would be really good. The problem with that is if I were to go there, like say with my three tank, that would only move at one, two, three. And they would be able to come in with their three tank and that plus one, they'd get to move at four, they would win that particular battle. Now maybe that's okay. Maybe we don't mind that, not sure. Maybe I should be fighting here instead and get a little research done. I tell you what, I have a plan. We're, I think we're gonna lose this particular battle to hopefully win the war. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring our two tank 
over there, in fact. We're going to save our three tank. We're going to place it here. That means we get to do that industrial production action, which means we just get to draw a token. Now we're going to have an extra token to play with. Ah, nice. Got a plane. And we're going to move this two. One, two. There we go. Now we're currently ahead, but that's probably going to change. And now at the end of our turn, get to draw another tile. So now we're going to have four tiles. That'll be nice. What did we get? Another three tank. Wow. Okay, so we have a lot of power on the ground. Okay, the AI player's turn. Draw a random one of these. Replace it. That is the For the Glory stratagem. So that means that they're going to prioritize the theater that has the highest VP campaigns. Right now, that's a three. That is the highest campaign. Highest VP campaign. So that's where, they're, that's where they want to go. But, unfortunately, that's not what they're going to do. Because first thing that they look for, the first thing the AI always looks for is if they can place one token into a campaign and then win that campaign which is exactly what's happening right here. So they're gonna ignore that stratagem and go straight to Eastern Europe and win this campaign. Now, what unit are they gonna use? Well, it's gonna have to be a land-based unit. So they have these two to choose from. I believe they're gonna choose randomly between those two. Three, one, two, three. So they're gonna play that plane, unfortunately. So that's gonna give them a plus one and they're gonna get that one and there you go now they've won that campaign because they are ahead on the battle track once this campaign is closed they're the ones that are gonna get those two vp so they come up here on the war victory track we're trying to get to 25 points and there you go that was their turn we slide these over and draw another one for them now that that campaign is closed, it's opened up a new campaign in that area. And that's why I did that, because that space right there is a two research. That's going to let us come in there and get two of these added to our bag at once. That seems really good. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go there with one of my big, big tanks. We're going to try to maybe take control over this theater. We're gonna get to draw two of these and add them to our bag. Who knows, we may never see those again, um, but hopefully those will come back and those are very powerful. And we get to draw, hey, we might draw one right now. Ooh, a nice powerful unit. AI. Ah, okay, so they're going to prioritize these research spaces and we have three of them right there and it looks like we have three and three open spaces so we're still tied so where are they gonna go highest vp for current campaign that's right here so they're gonna go to that spot i believe so they're just gonna roll the die five one two three four five they're gonna use that unit they get to draw one of these and put them into their bag. And they move it two. One, two. Okay. Not great. Not great. Oh, and then we have to draw. Oh, no. Now they have some big tanks out, too. That's not good. We have a plane and a naval unit. We could go here and just get some points. We could come up here, do some more research, or do some more industrial production. That might be nice. More chance to get our special weapons out. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, and we're gonna use our big ship there to try to, ooh, should we be saving some of our big things for, for down here? We probably should, you know, so we can hit these bigger victory points. Uh, that's probably makes sense. The other thing that might make sense is to come over here and just try to really hammer that so we can close this off and then start taking down that campaign with a huge lead. Okay, I like that idea, actually. I like that idea. Although, what are the chances of him going over there? I think I can wait on that. I'm going to go up here 
with my plane. And we're going to do a little bit of industrial production. Okay, got another plane. That's going to move this to... And then I get to draw again. Come on, give me my special weapon. Nope. Just two level one planes. Ooh, these guys again. Okay, we keep drawing these rapid deployment. The AI is going to prioritize a theater uh, with the most empty spaces. So that's going to be this one right here. Loves the strategic advantage. That's their favorite spot in this particular situation. And because of this stratagem, they're going to prioritize the leftmost token. So they're going to choose that one. That's going to give them a plus one to a different theater. And it looks like they can't flip anything. They can't break a tie. If I'm reading this uh, flowchart correctly, they're going to spin that point here in Africa to increase their most extreme lead. So they're going to add to their lead there since they couldn't flip any of these because they're leading most of them. And this is only a one that wouldn't flip it to a tie. So I think that's what they're going to do. I might have read that wrong, but that's what's going to happen. Then they're going to play that two there and go one, two. Man, they have a command. <laughs> they're really starting to uh, take over here. This is going to be this is going to be hard. Maybe now we push over there. We could bomb one of their tanks so they don't have two giant, enormous tanks bothering us. If we came here, one, two, three, they don't have a ship that could win this. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna come here with our three ship and we're gonna go on a little bombing. Boom. So when we bomb the opponent, we get to pick which token to put back into their bag. So we'll just pick this three tank. We put it back in the bag, and now they're going to have one less token to choose from. This is going to go three, one, two, three. And now they don't have a C unit that's going to change that, which is good. And then we get to draw... Oh, we got one of our special units. This is one that we researched. Basically, all this does is let us go on a bombing run after we place this, <laughs> which is awesome. So we just get sort of a free bombing action. We can obliterate that if they don't use it or something else. That's going to be fantastic. Let's see what they do. Oh, they want to research some more. Okay. Well, what do you know? We got two spaces right there for their research. They would go here if they could close this out and win, but they can't. I think they're going to prioritize the one with the most empty spaces. They're going to force me to come here to close this off. So they're going to come here. I believe they're going to pick It's between these two land units. And I don't think that they care which one of those they use. So they're going to roll a die. Three. One, two, three. They're going to use their biggie. All right. So they're going to get one of these into their bag and move this three. One, two, three. That is a shame. That is a shame because now we cannot go there and win if they had used their one we would have been able to go in there and win but now if we even if we use our three there they still win mm. so we'll probably want to let them do that i would imagine okay and now they draw boom oh wow okay they have all ones i now don't really want to use that yet i want to wait till they have something that i want to blow out of the sky we could try to get some of that back so we can be competitive in these other other realms. Maybe it's time to come here and sort of get strong there. Get a point. That would get us on the board. We could just go there with our little weak unit because we know that they can't compete with us there. We're just going to come here for now. 
get a point. Get on the board there, and then we'll move that one. We got this guy. He basically will give us a plus one for every other army unit that we've played to that particular campaign, including himself. What's the AI doing? This guy again. I tell you, I'm, I'm doing this randomly, I swear. He's going to rapid deploy again. And he's going to prioritize the, the place where he can win. So he's going to close out that campaign. He's going to go there. He's going to use this because of that. He gets a point for the space. This goes to the one, and this is a shame because now he's going to get two points plus that one for being there. So he's going to get three. One, two, three. Wow. Okay. Takes a commanding lead. Hopefully he'll draw something good here so I can bomb it. <laughs> that... Yeah, there we go. Got that three tank. Guess what, tank? You're about to get bombed. Now the question is... Yeah, let's do it here. And then we'll get to do some more research. That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to come here. We're going to take one of those, put it in the bag. And now... Bomb. Bomb that tank. Goes back in his bag. And we win! Well, we move one. Now we win. We get two points. One, two. So we're still quite a ways behind, but... And now we've opened up this. We got another two research spot. We got another place where we can do some... Oh, that's going to be great. Okay. Cool. And then I get to draw. Ooh. Oh! I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Same. Oh, look at that. It's basically the same thing, only it's a, a sea vessel, but it's got that bombing on it. More bombing. We are just going to bomb this guy. And in fact, because that opened up, there's a bombing spot right there. Maybe I should have gone there. I could have gone there and done like a double bombing. Oh, <laughs> okay. I should have done that. Research. I keep drawing the same thing over and over again, don't I? I I'm, I'm really am shuffling these up. I... All right. Well, that can happen. Oh, I'm actually sad that that happened because there's really only one place right there and he's going to get that double research. I was kind of hoping for that. Oh, boy. All right. Well, he's going to go there with one of his units. Doesn't matter which one. He's going to do that one. He's going to get two research. Uh-oh. These are going to come back to bite me. He's been doing a lot of research. So that's going to go there. And then he's going to draw. We might just be able to bomb this guy to smithereens. I mean, that's... That's a real possibility here. Yeah, we're definitely taking that out. If there's ever a turn where your opponent can't play one of their tiles, then they lose instantly. And so if we could get a couple more bombs in, especially with this bombing unit here, then maybe we could just bomb them to oblivion and just win instantly. So we're, I've never seen that. We're going to try it right here because we have a bombing space right here. We have this bombing token. That bomb could come up. So this might be a cool strategy. Now, unfortunately, we can't play this. Looks like a um, aircraft carrier. We can't play that to this spot right here. Let's just go ahead and play this three tank here. We're going to bomb that airplane right out of the sky. And one, two, three. We're going to start clawing our way back there in Western Europe. That is amazing. Ooh, okay. So that is big guns. It's not going to affect where, which, which theater they want to go into. So they're going to want to go where there's the most empty spaces. That's right there in the Pacific. Yeah, they're going to prioritize strategic advantage. They really like those spaces. Only one unit can go there. So it's going to be this one. 
They can't, they, no, they, normally they would do it in the Pacific Ocean, but you gotta go to a different theater when you're doing the strategic advantage. So they can't switch any of those. So I think they're just going to increase their lead in wherever they have the most extreme lead. So it's gonna be right there. Again, I could be reading that wrong, but um, I believe that's the case. So they go here, they move it one space there, and then they draw. So they're not doing a good job of protecting themselves from my bombing. Oh, they got a special unit. That unit is the spy. This copies the value, type, and any special ability of one of the unit tokens just placed by your opponent. Wow. I'm going to double check this, but I think that when I'm bombing, I have to pick... Yeah, I have to select one non-special weapon of my choice and discard it. I can only choose... I can only bomb that spy if it were the only token. That spy is going to survive. Ooh. So we probably don't want to play this because then the spy would just copy it. Not what we want. So we're going to play something weak, I believe. Oh, I wish I had something. I mean, I could put this here. But then again, with the with the spy, that spy really threw a wrench into my plans. Okay. We'll come here with the one. Got a plane. Move it one. And we'll get three points. One, two, three. It's a tie. Now we've opened up that potential bombing spot, and hopefully the AI won't take it. I have a feeling, though, that they might. Oh, no! They're going to take that bombing spot, aren't they? They are going to take that bombing spot. Oh, yeah, it's going to be the one with the most empty spaces, which is this one. And they're going to take that bombing spot. Oh, these. Urgh. OK. This AI is good. This AI is good. OK. OK, yeah, multiple units are, are tied. So it it's going to use either one of those. Let's roll, see which one it uses. Two, one, two. So it's going to use this one instead. Of course. Ugh. AI, you're killing me. Okay, so it's gonna bomb. So when you're bombing, you you can't target those. Okay, so let's just roll the die. One. Okay, so that goes back into my bag. They move one on there, and that's that. Okay. Maybe we just go ahead and bomb force him to use the spy just to get it out of there, you know? I mean, if I go here, that's one, two, one, two, three. You wouldn't be able to bring it back. Okay, I think this is good. We're going to come here. That's going to give us, we're going to make up for that bombing by immediately getting a new unit. Okay, so we'll move one. Then we'll come here. We'll get to move this two, and we'll get to bomb. Boom. Now you're just down to your spy. So let me make sure I'm going to do the spy part right. Copy the value, so that'd be two. Type, and any special ability of the unit. So it's going to bomb. <laughs> okay, so this is a two, which is important because it can't place that here and win. So it's not going to. Instead, it's going to... Oh, wait, we have to... We don't know what it's going to do because we have to draw this token. Oh, it's going to copy the thing that it did previously. Wow, okay. Well, actually, that means it's just going here because there's no other spots like that. So it's going there, except it can't because this is a naval unit. So it won't be able to go there. So it's got to ignore this 
So it's going to go back to its default position where it's going to come to where there's the most empty spaces, which is over here. It also can't go there, though, because this is not... They don't have that, that, that unit. So this is a two. That's a two and that's a two. They're going to go where it's the most. So that's also tied. Wow. Okay, so they're just going to go top to bottom. So they're just going to start in... They're just going to go to Western Europe. A lot of tiebreakers there. That was a confusing one. But they can place here. So that's what they're going to do. That's going to be a two value, one, two. And they're going to bomb me. And hopefully not take my lovely, lovely three navy. So we'll do that and we'll roll four. Ooh, just the one navy. Okay, good. All right. Got an airplane, so they're going to be able to play anywhere. Wow, okay. Things are happening here, folks. That spy going there was annoying. I won't lie. I can come here and win this, opening up a bomb. But, gosh, the chances of them just taking that bomb is, is going to be high. Actually, no, it won't. It won't be high. Because they're going to come here and win that. So if I do this... They'll go there, and then I bomb them. <laughs> I feel a little bit like I'm breaking uh, the game here, you know, just a touch, but, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, all, all things are fair in love and war, right? So, okay, we're going to play our three there. That's going to be one, two, three no effects, but we close this off, we get three victory points. One, two, three, and plus one, four. Four victory points. Boom. This again, but it doesn't matter because the first thing that they prioritize is if they can win a campaign, which they can right there. So this is going straight to there. Oh, but it's going to give them another token. So I won't be able to destroy them. Oh. So close. Dang, one, two. So they're also getting four points. Tied again. And they get to draw again. Oh, I was so close. I was so close to winning just through bombing. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm still going to take that bombing run here. I don't see any reason not to. So let's just go ahead and put... I don't really need a two there, do I? Let's just go ahead and put a one there. Well, I guess bomb this guy. Because he could potentially be worth more than one. And we move over one. We still have them down to one token. And there's another bomb over here, so you know maybe maybe we can still make this happen. Ooh, the target is that. Okay, that's secure. So they're gonna choose a theater where they are in the lead, which is three of them. And then they're going to prioritize number of empty spaces, which is here. So they're going to go there. And I believe they're going to prioritize that strategic advantage. Yeah, they really like that strategic advantage. So that's where they're going with this unit. And look at this. Yeah, they can flip this. One, two, three. So that's what they're going to do. Two, three. So they've now flipped that from my lead to tied. And that's what they would consider to be the biggest change. They go there and they go one. So they've got Western Europe secure. I've got the Pacific Ocean secure. They're killing it in Africa and the Middle East. And down here. I, I, I can't let them win this. And we're sort of tied 
in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe is big, and that strategic advantage location is probably where I need to be focusing. What did they get? Oh, they have zero blitz, but they won't be able to. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely stuff. But here's, here's the other thing. We also don't want them to come here. Because that spot, automatically, it just lets you take one of these and put them into your hand. And we want to keep them low. So, as much as I want to go there, and as, as much as they, they're probably going to go there, they couldn't really use that to hurt me too much. So, I, I'm gonna, I want to go there. I want to go there. I also like the idea of having that comes straight into my hand. Let's go there with something weak. Let's go there with this boat. Weak boat. It's only going to move at one, but I'm going to get to take one of these straight into my hand. Oh, it's a blitz. This is just a blitz unit. It has a little impact. That's actually going to be great. Very happy about that. And we get to draw. Okay, two tank. Well, we know where they're gonna go. They're gonna go right there because they can win that. So, they're gonna come right here. It's not gonna do anything and they're not gonna be able to use that blitz, but they're gonna secure six points. So, five, six, whoa, okay. Oh, whoops, I forgot to draw one of these things. It doesn't matter what they draw. Because they were always going to go to that spot. And now that, Western Europe is now closed. There is no more that can happen there. Yeah, the problem is if I don't close this off, then it's definitely going to go here. But actually, that would then open up the bomb. So we want him to come here. Yes. Okay, we're going to make this happen, guys. We are going to make this happen. We are going to figure out a way to make this happen. I promise. <laughs> okay, we're going to use this and come here. That's going to be two points. And we'll move this too. Okay. Oh man. Okay, we get one of those. So now he's gonna come here because he can win. So he comes here, he gets a point. Moves this three. One, two, three. He's gonna actually get three points. One, two, three. And now has 20 points. But it ain't gonna matter. And also, I forgot to draw this, but again, it wouldn't matter. He's going to go to that spot no matter what. And I can now come there with this. Bombs away. Kaboom. On his turn, he can't play. And so we win. <laughs> so I think that's uh, I think that's a win I think that's a complete uh, solo game of Blitzkrieg um, please let me know if I've done anything wrong there I feel like I might have uh, <laughs> not sure and please everyone like this video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more playthroughs. But anyway, have a good day and goodbye.